Hello friends, I'm back. It's Sally and I'm back to this have apple tree. There was a tree, the prettiest little tree that you ever did see. And the tree and the hole and the hole and the ground and the green grass grows all around, all around and the green grass grows all around. There was a crab apple, the prettiest crab apple that you ever did see. And it had white flowers. So friends, what I've noticed is at my park I go to, there are eight of these crab apple trees. And I looked at all of them. Not all of them are blooming, but the ones that are blooming, I checked the flowers and the leaves to see if if I was right, because they're all a little bit different. Same but different. You know, some are short, some are tall, some are, have lots of branches, some have fewer branches. But I started to think, they still kind of look the same. So what are the features that make it seem like the same type of tree to me? A crab apple. And I believe it's a sugar thyme variety. And so I started to look. I was reading about them and I started to look to double check the things I read. And one of the things is how many petals the flowers have. So this has, this one I'm holding, one, two, three, four, five petals. And most of the flowers, unless they lost a petal, have five. And same for the other trees. So it's like, okay, that's one thing they have. They have a white flower, pink to white, right? It's the ones that haven't opened yet. They're pink, with the little buds here. And then they open up white. So they have five petals, but then, okay, what about the leaves? What are they like? Are they shaped like a, an oval, kind of? And they have a, a tip, like a point at the end, right? It's not round at the end, it's a point. And they're all kind of like that, if you look. They all have that shape, that kind of pointed oval shape on the leaf, where the end is pointed. And then, if you look further yet, let's see if I can find a good example. These leaves with the flowers, see? Flowers and the leaves all come out of this one little shoot here that's sticking out of the branch. And I believe that's called compound leaf when you have multiple leaves coming out of one little branch. I'll look that up to be sure, but that's what I recall on some tree walks I've been on. So that's, that's something, and I checked and they're all, well at least the ones I checked, I checked a few, they all have that. They have the pointy oval leaf, they have the compound leaves, multiple, you know, several leaves coming out of one shoot. See here again? It's like that all over the tree, several little shoot, you know, um, leaves out of one shoot coming off of the branch and then that comes off a bigger branch and that leads to the trunk. So the trunk, I checked and the trunks all have this kind of like, what do you call that? Like a kind of crusty looking or flaky looking. It's not smooth, right? It's kind of uh, ragged or jagged um, and it has spots, right? It's not uniform. It's got it kind of looks broken up or like it's in patches. Um, this is a narrow trunk, if you remember, so it's got maybe less to show, but it, I think the features are there. So that's another way. This one has been trimmed for whatever reason, so it's got less, you see the nubs, it's got less branches shooting out. Or it would be a lot fuller. Right now it looks pretty narrow, um, or thin, let's say. Uh, what else, friends? Leaves, flowers, the trunk, how the, the branches come out of the trunk. These are all features of a tree because, you know, once the flowers are gone, they don't stay forever. Once they blow off or you see some of them are turning brown on the edges, they kind of dry out or they get rained off or what have you. Once they're gone, how do you know it's a crab apple still? Because of the leaves and the trunk and maybe the shape of it how the leaves come out of the branches. Is it compound or simple? Um, all right, friends. If you enjoy tree hunting, I counted eight crab apples at my park. So if you have a favorite tree, maybe try to figure out what makes it neat. What makes it 
what it is. What are its features? Does it have flowers? Is it not? What's the trunk like? The bark? The leaves? All right, enjoy tree hunting, nature exploring. Have a good day. Much love.